Okay, so let's do this uh, borohydration problem. So it asks, what are the products of this reaction? So this is uh, borohydride THF. The THF part is just a solvent, okay? So that's not going to be participating in the reaction. So you can think of, in fact, I'm going to erase all of this stuff here. So you can think of the active ingredient is just this BH3 here. Okay. So BH3, remember, that um, the boron is uh, less electronegative than the hydrogen is, so it's going to add anti-Markovnikov, okay? So the um, nucleophile is actually going to be the double bond here, okay? So, um, the boron's going to add to the side with the more hydrogens, okay? So which side would it add to? Is this the right or the left? The right, right? Because it's got more hydrogens. These are methyl groups. Oh, Right, okay? So that's all right. Um, but you know, right, you know. Okay, so, like that, okay? And then that's going to, all at one step, okay? So it's a concerted reaction, and it gives you, so it's concerted, and it gives you syn addition and anti Markov. Okay? So when we do that, Hydrogen up there, right? So if the hydrogen's up, that means the BH2 has to be up too. Okay. So I'll just draw that extra hydrogen. Okay, like that. So what happens? This BH2 actually becomes Br2 by adding two more of these alkenes onto it. Okay. So in fact, what we could write, so we could say another alkene comes, another alkene comes, right? And those guys add to that BH2 to make it. So it's going to look exactly the same. but it's going to be Br2 now, okay? So um, what we can do is maybe in another video show what that actual complex looks like. It's very big, though, so it's hard to show on kind of a small board, okay? So then, well, that's the main step of this problem. In our book, it doesn't want you to know how to do the second step of the reaction. So remember, this gives you anti-Markovnikov addition of um, alcohol, okay? So you get an alcohol. So, um, so the second step, you just need to know the conditions. Hydrogen peroxide and hydroxide ions, so strong basic conditions. And that's going to give you the final product. We can go over that uh, second step in a different video. So that would be your product, that secondary alcohol, for this reaction. Um, and we can go over that second step, but for the uh, test, you won't need to know. Okay? Questions on that? No? It makes sense. Okay.